welcome to ILTV's Evening Update. I'm Deborah Blum here with the latest news from Israel. Humanitarian aid will be sent from Israel to Syria, a country ravaged by civil war, including medical, food and educational supplies. The IDF is securing the aid transfer authorized by the government and funded by Israeli philanthropist Moti Kahana. Supplies, including medical equipment, so a field hospital can be set up to treat the wounded, will be placed in a safe zone inside the neighboring Syrian town of Kanitra. At Journey to Jerusalem, a new interactive tourist attraction inside the Western Wall tunnels, the past and present come together. The exhibit allows visitors to go back in time to their family's country of origin and see the struggles they endured, including religious persecution and the hardships they faced in their journeys to the Holy Land. Over 256,000 scanned images and animated footage were woven together for the exhibit, which took 10 years to compile to showcase the movements of Jewish people from around the world. Lone wolf terrorist acts are occurring in the United States and Europe at an alarming rate. Israel is no stranger to the carnage caused by these types of attacks and those linked to terrorist organizations. Since October 2015, Israelis have endured a string of violence that's been carried out largely by Palestinian individuals who aren't backed by any one specific group. These smaller scale attacks are on the rise because since the second intifada, Israel has largely managed to dismantle the terror networks run by Hamas and other militant groups in the West Bank. In response to the recent attacks, the army has created a lone wolf alarm system, gathering intelligence from social media, informants, and by intercepting communication. The monitoring system alerts security forces to when their targets take steps towards potentially carrying out a terrorist act, and then preventative measures are taken. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Deborah Blum, and see you Sunday with our morning briefing from Israel at 8 a.m. Eastern Time.